For today's lunch video, we're eating one item alone. We are trying bacalao, which is dry salted cod. And this is a fish that is very popular here in Portugal. Now, the cod used to be salted because that's the method of preservation that they used before refrigerators were widely available. So that meant the fish became like really hard and salted. And then once you actually wanted to cook it, you had to soak it in water um, just to remove a bit of the salt and also soften it again. And that's a food tradition that has been passed down. So today we are trying three different items. If you want to have a look here, all prepared with cod, la la. bacalao. We've only got three things to taste here, but apparently there's a saying that you can make bacalao 365 days a year using a different recipe or a different technique. So since I'm being a gentleman over here, I'll let you choose the first of the three to try. Well, I'm gonna choose bolinhos de bacalao, and we actually have two of those, so no problem. <laughs> we to get one. So this is actually a little cake made with codfish. It's a savory cake, not a sweet cake. Um, and it's made with mashed potatoes, fish, um, parsley, and egg. And it is deep fried. Let me show you the inside. So you can really see the, the fiber of the fish in there. Yeah, you can. And it's been rolled into a little ball. So it looks good. Mm. That's a monster bite you took. I'm hungry. That's quite nice. So these little fish cakes can actually be served as an appetizer before a big meal. But because we've been kind of overdoing it with the big restaurant meals, today we're having something smaller, so it's just gonna be a little bit of a snack, but I think filling enough. All right, I'm also quite hungry as well. I went for a really long jog this morning and I had a tiny breakfast, so I'm ready for my big bite. Have you ever had a fish pastry before? Yeah, I have. I'm just trying to remember where it was. I honestly can't remember. And the neat thing about this is, uh, of course you taste the fish, but it's not overpowering. It's definitely like a pastry as well, too. So next up we're trying this. And this is a Portuguese empanada. And it's quite different from the ones I've had in Argentina, which are usually half moon shaped. This is more like a little miniature pie. And apparently it is stuffed, once again, with codfish. So, never had a codfish empanada before. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty unique. What it's like. What does it look like inside? Have a look on there. Hmm. I think there's more than fish in there, to be honest. Perhaps potatoes? Hmm. So that looks like Looks like and tastes like codfish, potatoes, and maybe even a little bit of spinach. It's really nice. And last but not least. Oh, well, something had to be picked last, so <laughs> let's try this one. So this is something that we just saw on the counter and we're like, hey, that's cod, let's try it. Mmm. This is my favorite one. Yeah. You know what this one tastes like? What? It tastes like codfish Korean jun. It's like the Korean pancakes. It's really crispy and really tasty. This is awesome. You're gonna like this one. So is that battered fish or is it breaded? No, it's battered. Or is it just fried? It's battered and fried and crispy on the outside. All right, so now it's time for a price point for those little snacks made out of bacalao. Yeah, we picked up those four tasty little treats for six euros total. And what was wonderful is that we just took them to this nice little park, which is a two minute walk from our Airbnb and enjoyed eating them in the shade.